just a little note before we start this video. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to CSGO Changer. They are the people who made this program. Uh, the link to their download website and just about them is down in the description. Um, yeah, I just want to give them a big shout out because this is not my program or oh, this is not my program or anything. Uh, but yeah, I just want to give a big shout out to them and also just a little disclaimer: like you could possibly get vacked for this. I don't think it it will happen if you do everything like you unplug your USB once you get into CS:GO. But just a disclaimer: it could vac you. So I honestly wouldn't try this on your main account. I would try it on uh, alt account or something first for a couple months, and then I'd switch it over to your main account if it does work. But I haven't heard of anybody getting back from this, so it should be safe, and let's get right into the video. This is Changster101 coming back at you with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on a skin changer for CSGO. So this skin changer is going to allow you to change any of your skin, aka up uh, um, your gloves, you can also have different gloves, and it's not going to like give you them, but you can see it yourself like the the new weapons that you have or the different skins for your weapons i guess you could say but everybody else it will just look like your default weapon or whatever you have equipped so let's say i have a op dragon lord that i put in for my skin changer to me it will look like an op dragon lord to everybody else it will just look like a normal op but i don't really care what other people see i just want to see like the eye of an op dragon lord so yeah this is going to be a tutorial so if you guys have any errors the arrows errors will be at the end um, if you have any errors, just go to the time below that you'll see right now, and you can skip to that point right there. There will also be time things in the description that you can see, but right now I'm going to do straight tutorial, and then I'll solve any errors at the end that I've encountered. So, yeah, let's hop right into it. So, for the tutorial, first thing you're going to want to do is go down into this description and open up those three media fire uh links so once you're there you're gonna see these three files config underscore ct config under underscore t and csgo underscore changer once you're at config underscore t download and then yeah it's just gonna give that pop up save as and then i personally recommend saving it to the desktop because that's the easiest way to just find it download config underscore ct Save as. Critical alert from Mike. Wow, what was that? Okay. Save. And then C CSGO underscore changer. Download. This one's a little bit bigger, 42 megabytes, so it might take a little bit to download, but you should be absolutely fine. And then save that one to the desktop as well. And once it's uh, done downloading, then you can go to your desktop. Once you have downloaded these three files, you're going to first want to extract this zipped file with 7-zip or one yard. Once you extract that, it will uh, extract to wherever you have it, like your desktop, which, which is where I have it. Then you're going to want to double click on this folder, and then in there should be a .rar file. You're going to want to 7-zip that again, and then there should, wherever you extracted it, there should be a new folder called csgo underscore changer underscore obt4 underscore 1. Double click on that, double click on that, and you should see these four files. Next, you're going to want to open up a brand new file explorer. Once you're in here, you're going to want to plug in your USB. Once you've plugged in your USB, make sure it's empty, and if it isn't empty, just drag it onto your desktop, create a new folder, call it backup or something, so you have uh, everything on your USB saved. But you want to make sure it's cleared. First thing you want to do in your USB, create a new folder, call it whatever you want. I called it I call it skin because I saw that in a video, and it's, it's, it worked, so I'm just going to call it skin. Drag those full f four files that you had into the skin folder, and then it should drag them, uh, copy them over into the skin folder. After you've moved those full four files into the USB skin folder, then you're gonna want to click on bin, click CSC, double click this. Should ask you if you want to an administrator. Click yes. Click this first button that has a three in it. Then once you're here, you're going to see CSGO Changer. If you see that, then you've done it correctly. Next, you're going to want to minimize that. Go back to File Explorer, click Local Disk. And then in this, in Local Disk, you're going to right-click New Folder. You're going to want to create a new folder folder called CSGO underscore, 
CSGO changer, no underscore. Exactly like this. Next, you're going to want to double click on that. Drag these two folder, these two files, the config underscore ct and config underscore t right into there. Next thing you're going to want to do is go back into your skin changer, CSGO changer. Uh, make sure skin changer is highlighted and click on this light blue button. It should be the for first one and it should have a 4 on it. Then this green bar is going to load. It should take about 15 to 20 seconds. Um, then after this green bar is full, it's going to open up four windows. Uh, you can close out all four of them right away. It's going to get stuck here a little for a couple seconds, but then the four windows should pop up on your screen. Once those four windows pop up, you can close out of them right away. And there you go. Then this should pop up. You can click on the first one again with the three. And then you're going to see CSGO change change your launcher click on the three this one button you can only click on click on that it should be gray and change into this you're just gonna don't exit out of it just click minimize go to steam counter global offensive play but when you see your home page for csgo you want to click insert on your keyboard and then you're gonna see this thing pop up you're going to click on what team you want to change, so terrorist, click on weapon, then you can choose what weapon you want. So let's say I want to change the skin for the AK-47, I can change it to anything I want. I can change it to the, um, what's a nice AK skin, Neon Revolution, I really enjoy that. You can change the name to, hello, where you can change the where on it, and then the quality, and make it stat track. When you make it stat track, it doesn't actually count your kills. You can just change how many kills. So you can say it has like a billion kills. But it won't update if that makes sense. I'm not sure what the seed is. I'm sure some of you people do know. But I personally don't. Uh, it's for every weapon though. You can see. And then when you want to change CT stuff. Uh, you can go to counterist. And then switch them. You might be wondering, oh, if I'm a counterist, how come I see AK-47? It's if you have, like, two different skins. So, let's say, for example, the um, Desert Eagle. If you want, like, a Kumicho Dragon on CT, but on T, you want to have, like, a Conspiracy, you can change it for that. So, once you've done that, then you're going to want to scroll down a little bit more, and then you can see Knives. You can change what knife you have equipped for CT and T. I like the Butterfly Knife... Uh, marble fade. I think that's really nice. And then you can once again change the name and make it sat track. And then you can also change the gloves. So I guess I'll just have the bloodhound ones default. And then you're gonna want to click save config once you've done that. Then once you've done that, you can click insert again. And then you're gonna want to unplug your USB. So I'm just gonna go to my back computer. Click unplug. Or just unplug it and then go play find a game go to deathmatch and then you can go into a game all right guys so i'm back and as you can tell i am here look you can see that i have my gloves i have a case hardened knife for ct because that's what i have for ct so i'll go to cts and then knife the one i have equipped is um I should have a butterfly knife oh there we go yeah there we go and then I can change it to Marble Fade. And voila, we got this. So make sure you unplug your USB or else you might get a VAC error. It won't VAC you, it will just say an error, just like restart your computer and disable any skin changing programs. So yeah, as you can tell, I have a USPS, a um, butterfly knife, if we go to AKs, oh wait, I'm gonna switch teams. Oh, I can't. But yeah, as you can tell, I have this. I'm just gonna let this person kill me. And then if we go to buy. Look, I have M4A4 Asimov, even though it's not mine. And yeah, as you can tell, this is just like basically it. This is really cool. This is the skin changer, and yeah. I will show you, you will need to plug in the USB again if you want to do the skin changer. Like, let's say you close CSGO and the next day you wanna have the skin changer again, you can just close out of it, and um, you're going to have to plug in the USB and do it again, but that should be pretty self-explanatory, and I'll show you that right now, actually.
just launch, relaunch CSGO, and as you can tell, when I click insert, nothing pops up. So, you're gonna have to plug in your USB again. So after you plug in your USB, you're gonna wanna go into your, your USB thing, click skin, bin, CSC, same process as before, let it run as administrator, click this first button, three, then you're gonna click, see this, you're gonna see this blue button, light blue, click on that again, wait for it to load, unfortunately it does take the same amount of time, about 15 to 20 seconds, but yeah, as you guys could tell, like, the CSGO skin changer did work, like, it was, it's really cool, I've been using it for about a week now, um, I know VAC bans are delayed, but I, I don't think this can get VAC'd, I'm not sure, because VAC can't really scan this, someone correct me in the comments if it can, but since you unplug your USB, it can't really scan it, from what I can tell, uh, but yeah, so you can close out of those four windows, click this first button again, click that, and then go to Steam, go to the library, Counter Strike Offensive, play it, it's gonna load Counter Strike again, and then it's gonna be the same exact process like I said before, go to CSGO, it's gonna load, once it's loaded, you can click on insert, and then click on terrorist or something, but instead of like changing, cause it, I'm not, yeah it doesn't, it should save your config, but if it doesn't, click load config, and then it should load your config. Um, and then yeah, as you can tell, everything's still here, still have everything that I wanted to have. You can, uh, unplug your USB again, so I'm just gonna go to File Explorer, click Eject, and unplug it. And then, once again, it should be the same exact process. So, find the game, activity, active duty group, should find the game, and I'll see you guys when we're in one. Alright, so guys, we're in a game right now, as you can tell, uh, right now, look, I still have my butterfly knife. Solve everything that I wanted. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. So as you can tell, it is working. I have my Glock. Ooh, probably change that to a fade, to be honest. Uh, but yeah. So you can tell, like, I'm not just like having these skins because if I go to inventory, you can tell that I don't have like a Glock. I don't have any gloves or anything. As you can tell from my inventory. I have a Glock 18 Weasel, but I don't have a fade. It can, you can obviously see right here that I have a fade equipped. So, you know, that's super cool. I think that's super cool. Whoever made this program is really smart. Just hope it doesn't... Yeah. That's about it. So, right now, guys, if it worked for you, you're all good. But if you have errors, stay tuned. Uh, they'll be coming up right now. There are a couple different errors that people get when they do this. One thing is that they follow the exact same steps that I did. They let it run as administrator, they click that first button, and they click this light blue button. Everything looks like it's going completely fine, yet when this green bar is full, they get an error. It says, they get an error right on the screen that says qt5core.dll is not available, or that it's not downloaded, and qt5gui.dll is not available either, or it's it's not there. There should be a picture right now that shows exactly what it looks like. I had the same exact error, that instead of what's about to pop up, not that, instead of that, instead of this, they get that error that you just saw. The thing that I fixed is that they're missing these four files. So what I did is, I went to flow, and they were right here. It was right in that flow folder. So I went to skin, bin, flow, and they're right here. So what I did, I copied, I controlled C, and then I went to bin, and then I copied them down right here, and then I'll just replace the files in the destination, and then they should be there. Then when I click CSC, click yes, click that, and then click this light blue button, it should work completely fine. If it doesn't, write down in the description and then I will try to find out another solution, but this should work, and if it doesn't, I can post on the internet the download links for these if, it, if people don't find uh, the solution to this or if it's not working. Uh, but yeah, that's one of the errors. Uh, this is the next error. 
another error people get is when they launch up CSGO, they click insert and it works, right? They see this, they click on terrorist, but when they see weapons, it doesn't it doesn't show up with AK-47. It, even terrorist doesn't pop up. It shows up with fix me underscore localization underscore fail underscore missing missing underscore string. That basically means that it's missing something, like something's not there. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to close out of CSGO. Uh, the error should pop up right now. That's what it looks like. And yeah, that that's not something you want. So what you're going to do is click on Contra Global Offensive, Properties, Local Files, Verify Integrity. What this is going to do, it's going to retrieve all the files because it's actually CSGO that's missing a file. So when you validate, it's gonna grab that file and it's gonna take it, and that should solve this. That should solve it, and then you should see AK forty seven and four things like that. It should look exactly what it looked like on the tutorial. Error people get is that the config is not saved. Like the config isn't safe. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go local disk, create a new folder called CSGO Changer, and move the, those two into here. That's if you did that, then it should work. And yeah, that's the last year, guys. That's about it for today, guys. Uh, if you guys have any issues, still write it down in the description or write it down in the comments, and I'll try and help you guys out. But that's about it, guys. Um, I hope this Cisco skin changer works for you. If there's like a new update or something, a serious one, I will uh, post a new video about it. But that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you, and see you guys in the next video.